Okay, so this is my first video. Don't expect a whole lot. Uh, I'm going to show you how to change the self-contained outlet uh, without the $300 plus tool. Uh, don't see too many other tools to help you out with this. And uh, it took me a minute to figure it out, but I'll show you how I figured it out. Video is going to be a little rough, choppy. I'm going to probably stop it off and then just start right back up and tell you where I'm at. Okay, so now I've just gone back and uh, scribed a new hole. I'm going to use a multi-tool. You can use whatever you want to uh, cut the hole out. I'm not worried about the lines because this room's got to be painted and everything else. Okay, I've uh, cut the replacement hole here. And I've kept the little piece. I'm going to use it later to uh, semi-fill on that hole there. Uh, make sure you have the power off before you do any cutting just to make sure you know I went you can tell I don't have no power here um, and next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this box apart and uh, reroute the wires through this other hole and show you how to reuse this box so on this box uh, I'm not gonna reuse this I've purchased a new one right there and uh, we're gonna use this to help us get the new box together there's tabs here, and there's a tab here. We're going to break those off since we're not reusing the box. Like I said, the power's off, make sure. And uh, we're going to pull those tabs off and take this apart, and I'll show you after I get the whole thing apart. I'm probably going to end up just uh, cutting the wires and re uh, stripping them and stuff. All right, we'll be back. So I've just taken the back cover off. Uh, there it is on the left and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to break this tab off and turn it over and do the same thing on the other side break this tab off and then it's going to look just like this this is from a previous one I've done okay and that's what we're going to end up with oh, there we have it um, I've broken the tabs off I used a pair of lineman's pliers just grabbed it pulled up a little bit you know at a 90 and uh, snaps right off real easy soft plastic next I'm going to uh, take the wires out of there and uh, pull them through the other hole and then we'll start reassembling I've gone and uh, pulled the wires through the no hole that I've made for the new outlet and you can see I've just cut the wires off uh, I pulled the first set out but uh, when I tried to pull a second set out, it just kind of destroyed the box, man. I, and I wasn't going to reuse it again. Anyway, the old outlet. But uh, you can see, kind of pulls some of the inside apart when I try to take it apart. But like I said, I wasn't planning on reusing it. So now I'm just going to go back and I'm going to strip these wires and we'll pick up there. I've gone ahead and paired my wires. You notice they're not stripped back, right? Because we're just going to press them back. Just the center ground there. All right. And that's going to get pressed into the middle there also. So there's my new box prepped. So all I did was open it up, you know, pop them clips on the side here, just like uh, on the old piece. I'm not going to break them now. We're just going to disassemble the box. All right. We got the box disassembled. Stamped on the box. I don't know if you can see what you can't see. It says black, ground, white, right there, stamped in the box. So you know which way wires go, all right? And this is why I made the video in the first place, um, is to find a way to get those into that. Because it's not easy without the uh, $320 something dollar tool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a couple clamps, sometimes one, sometimes two, we'll see. A couple blocks of wood here I've cut. Then I'm going to recycle that piece of wood and hold that old piece in the hole there for later. And uh, we're going to use one of these from the old box. And we're going to get them wires set in there. And then I'm going to use this piece and show you how, uh, hopefully, to assemble these wires. I know it'll work on one. We'll see if it'll work on two sets of wires. See, I've got the box here and I've got the new wires and now they're just laid in there kind of well difficult so make sure you hold them in there real good right now and then I'm going to um, take this piece here 
there was a third tab on the end. I had to break off, but it's no big deal. You can do it with or without. You'll see it. It's uh, sorry. It was right on the on the end, right there. I broke it off. It was a little tab. It's tiny. It's right there. That's just to make this go back together easily. So the, now what I'm going to do? Sorry about shooting all over the place here. I got this box here, right? I got the wires held in by hand. I'm going to take the old back of the box. I'm going to lay it on top of there, and then we're going to uh, build our little clamp here, press, and we're going to assemble this. Okay, so what I've gone and done is I've taken my box with the um, old back without the um, tabs on it, and I've sandwiched it in two side of uh, two pieces of wood, and I uh, used two C clamps, uh, and I'm going to basically just keep tightening these C clamps down until this box uh, sets some wires. Once them wires set, we'll try to get the second set in there. And you see here, I've tightened it down, and this box is pretty much sealed up so we're going to take it apart and check to make sure our wires are down in there and then try the second set all right well here's the end result I've just taken it back apart after putting a little pressure on there with them two C clamps and you can see the wires are set and they're pretty doggone good man I don't know if you can see right you couldn't do that without a tool and it doesn't take a $300 tool to do it now we're going to try the second set Hopefully uh, it goes in just as easily as the first set goes. Okay, I've just laid this second set of wires in there. All right, they're just laid right on top of the old wires. I mean the first set of wires that I've uh, assembled. And we're just going to go back through the process again. Put the old back of the box on there to hold it together. Tighten it up with them C-clamps and uh, hopefully it works as good as the first time around. Well, I um, got my little clamp assembly disassembled, and uh, boy, as you can see, that's seated beautifully. Just as easy as the first time. There's really not a whole lot of effort involved once you get the clamp set up and use that force. And uh, really, that's it. I'm going to patch up the wall in a second. I'll show you just real quick what I'm going to do there, and uh, I'm going to put the back of this box on set this box in and then I'll show you uh, what that looks like put it back in the hole take these poles you're gonna make sure you want to take these poles here and raise them up I'm sorry I'm gonna get my video back you want to take these poles right here and set them up so they tuck in like this right and then that way when you stick them in the hole there you'll be able to slide them right in the hole and then they'll fall back in a place like this one is right and when you tighten them screws up on the outside right there that's going to tighten your box to the wall and uh, don't overdo it you just went through this whole process for a reason right so uh, make sure it's snug the box is nice and tight and don't overdo it otherwise you'll be doing this whole process all over again all right here we go next step okay so there's the outlet uh, put back in the wall you can see the screw there and the screw there that's what you use to uh, fling your poles back out from the side and holds it up against the uh, wall. Next, I'm going to take uh, that little piece that was left over from the hole there, the new hole, and I'm going to take that old piece of wood that I was using and put that piece of wood in there, and then I'm going to put that little piece of plaster back in there, and uh, it's a lot smaller hole to patch in the end. All right, well, that's basically the end result. I've taken the old piece and put it in the old massive hole over there. Just gives me a smaller hole to fill later, that's all. Plus, I'm just reusing what I had. I took that piece of wood that I was using as a clamp, took the old piece of plaster. All right, I know uh, someone's going to say, hey, it shouldn't be under the window, blah, blah, blah. Well, it came from the manufacturer with the, under the window, so I'm just moving it over a little bit. Um, my main thing was to show you here today how to take these wires and get them in these self-contained outlets and switch boxes. Uh, it's not easy without the tool. 
and uh, some people use a screwdriver, try to force those wires in there. You know, this was the easiest way I could find, just by making myself a little uh, press assembly. A couple C-clamps, a piece of wood, and uh, hope that helps somebody, because I sure could have used the damn help when I was looking. Good luck.